What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Nice to meet you. What will you rate them? An 8.5. Okay. An 8.5. What will you rate her, bro? She's a 7. Oh, man. A 7? Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> I mean, it's. You gotta love it. And you can tell by the way she was looking at him. She thought he was much higher than an 8.5. She probably was probably thought he was a 9 or a 10. But the thing is, you always gotta rate him a little bit low. Keep these ladies humble, bro. If you shut that door, I'm moving out and you'll never see me again. This door? Yeah. I hate this trend. I'm moving out, you'll never see me. Meh. Meh, 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 meh. So dumb. He <laughs> shot like four or five times. <laughs> he did both doors on her. <laughs> he took that. This, so, this challenge is so good. better fit for Frankie than Izzy. Oh, well, one, he is not a fan of his height, and I'm four foot ten, so I think that height doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. uh, so Chad, do you, do you guys like short girls, tall girls? Does it matter to you? Let me know. The, the pitch is your four time. <laughs> so, Oops. Keep, uh, so keep going. Okay, well, his smile, like he said, is so beautiful. His smile catches my attention always. Does it a good um, smile. And his emotional intelligence. I know I'm saying everything that he said, but he is obviously spot on with everything that's great about him. And I mean, who can resist that shirt? Look at the shirt. You guys are going to take your blindfolds off in three, three two, two, one. one. Very beautiful. Okay. I like your eyes. She's like leaning back, very avoidant. You respect her hustle with the OnlyFans. What? Stupid. I like that you're so open with it. I deeply respect you. I like that you're so open with it. Ew. Wow. She got nexted immediately. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. Never date a girl that does OF. Chat, let me know. Would you date a girl seriously that does OF? Absolutely not. If she's putting her body online, she's a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. Wow. I love your smile. Whoa. Izzy's like, get me up. I almost bet you this girl that he nexted is going to have to shame him in one way or another. my type. And they instantly have a connection? I think they look cute together. You guess what, Izzy? The shirt is an automatic no. Uh, of course. Of course she had to shame him somehow. Look at that face. A face only a mother could love. <laughs> Sometimes all that... And you see, he ate it. He didn't dog her at all. He did. He was very respectful, didn't dog her at all, but she had to make sure she was punching below the belt. It's OF women, bro. You hate men so much, then why do 300 of them and counting? Just saying. She has a fair point. <laughs> Seems like some of you women are obsessed with- Got more bodies in a cemetery. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Them. This guy's gonna kill. Huh? This guy. Yeah. He's gonna kill. That guy? Mm -hmm. You wanna talk to him? No. Shut up, shut up. No, 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 you're gonna no, talk no. to him, shut up. No, 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 no. Hello. Hey, um, my friend thinks you're cute. Do you think she's- Is she your type? No, uh, she's not my type, really. Sorry about that. Oh, it's, a, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Women cannot deal with rejection, though. It's so funny to me. <laughs> the worst. Hey, that, guy, that guy was mid. You're better. You'd be better. Yeah. Yeah. She got eight up, bro. I love it. I love to see it. I absolutely love to see it. It's paying for everything all the time. <laughs> I think that's a pretty big one that I hate. Yeah, not too. only do we have to pay for everything all the time, but we're also not even allowed to complain about it. Definitely. Not. That's quite a move by the feminists. It's good work, you know? They're going, hey, pay for all of our shit and shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Pretty good. Women in my life talk about my money like it's nothing. It's like, we should go to Miami again. I'm like, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> like, come on, you had fun. We danced, I sucked your dick. I'm like, yeah, pretty good deal for you. <laughs> you know, about half of the trip, I was like, how about I suck my own dick? You pay for one thing. How about that? I mean, 
That'd be wild. You might think, hey, this guy's an asshole, but these jokes aren't for you, ladies. They're for your husbands and boyfriends. You know, they've earned it. <laughs> right? They paid for it. <laughs> uh, that's, there's always some woman after the show. It's like, hey, I pay for all my stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're gross. <laughs> I'm talking about you. <laughs> Complaining about hot chicks, not f you. It was like out. some lesbians. We have to pay. Yeah, you have to pay. There's no. You'll be homeless if you don't f pay. <laughs> <laughs> the sad. <laughs> That's so true, though. The feminist did pull a whoopsie doozy with that one. Before, Jake, before I head back over there, can I buy you ladies another round of drinks? Yeah, All right, now you're just going to order two Coronas for yourself and send them the bill. <laughs> Hand me two Coronas, and then you're going to go up to them with this bill. Give them a thumbs up. Go give it to her right now. All right, I'm walking out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me to leave out with the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me to leave out with the bill. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> they are flabbergasted. He did y'all so dirty. They she definitely hated. Oh man, that is a hey, that's a good chat. You guys gotta try that. Or a one hundred Bitcoin, go. Um, I'm gonna say the the dollars only because okay. um. What about you, Mexico? Same with dollars. I've never done Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, I think I'll do the hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Hundred dollars or a hundred Bitcoin? Stupid. A <laughs> hundred Bitcoin? That'd be like what is that? Are they? Isn't it like fifty thousand right now? <laughs> be like oh my god a hundred dollars okay fantastic oh, okay one bitcoin right now ladies is worth sixty seven thousand seven hundred eighty nine dollars <laughs> some people just need to be so educated dumb stupid i was about to say bitcoin is like really i don't know i don't know what it is right now excuse me what do you do for a living what? you know what is don't touch my car maybe <laughs> yeah <laughs> stupid this is not your car Yet she's still at That's goals right there, bro. I wanna have I wanna have a Lambo one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I feel like I would just maybe maybe I'll just rent one. I don't know. Body counts. Nine, ten, ten. Three. Drew Whoa! Dixon. You know it's not three. She's not three. How much is it? It's like eleven, twelve. Eleven, twelve? Yeah, she's lying. Eleven, twelve. 12. Always multiply it by three, gents. What's your body count? It's three. Oh, it is? That's dope, that's two, dope. Two, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's two? Two, 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 two. Okay, but that, but While that. he has his arm around her, her body count is not two. Look at her friend. What's your body count? Uh... <laughs> she's thinking about she's you want to lie or to say the truth? Yeah, seven. What are the chances I can be the next one? <laughs> oh. Pretty high. She want me, she want me, she want me. What's your body count? <laughs> Um, she's what? a runner, she's a tax cow. I don't know yeah. if I believe that. You looked away. Hey, you looked at her. It's five. I'll tell it to the camera. It's five. What are the chances I can make that six? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, right, he's smooth with it. So here's a way you can tell if somebody's lying. If they look to the left, usually it's recollection. If they look to the right, they're looking to lie. You're really cute. Eight percent. Oh, say less. So let me get to number less. <laughs> This month, don't miss. In the first case, they had to multiply. Confidence is key. You notice he's not like a 6'5 Chad. He's not anything. He's just confident. He's shooting it straight. Women like that, dude. All men who are over six inches, please listen. I have an important message. I was about to say, let me turn this off then. Yeah, let me turn this off. Over six inches? <laughs> Honey, we're pushing two on a good day. You know what I'm saying? And if it's cold, it's a one. A one and done. These girls are for everybody. And if you get offended by this post, that means that the shoe fits and you're one of them. It's crazy, especially here in Miami. Not even, just anywhere. This generation is disgusting. You start talking to a girl, and this is from like past experience. I just thought about it today. I'm like, yo, these girls are for everybody. Like they're passed around like a basketball. Yeah, she's not yours, it's just your turn, buddy. You start talking to a pretty girl on social media, you know at least four guys that have slept with her. 
Oh, yeah. You find out like... Well, chat, always remember, no matter how hot this chick is, there's somebody out there that's fed up with her crap. Even Giselle Bunchen and Tom Brady, there was eventually to a point where he's like, God, you're just freaking annoying. <laughs> just shut up. Later on. And then you wonder why you're single, honey. You wonder why nobody takes you serious. You throw yourself at these guys. You have a type, right? <laughs> Man, you're going to sleep with all these kind of guys? You're just going to throw yourself at them? Nobody's gonna want to date you if you've been around the block. It's all about self-worth. Dude, looks like he could be my cousin. Loki, does somebody want some jerky? You want some jerky, mate? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Got him some beef jerky. BT dubs. You guys, some, some guys were complaining in the comments. He needs meat. Well, we got him some meat, buddy boy. Uh-oh. Mm. I thought it was okay for me to do porn was because I thought ne no one would ever find out about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought nobody would ever find out. <laughs> Little did Not you know, like they made a song about everyone you. Everyone would find out. Can you imagine her going out in public, people noticing her, and be like, "I noticed you from somewhere." One quick Google search, and it's a wrap. Who aren't snapping fifty girls right now? Good lord. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? This is some seriousness right here. What game are they even playing? Chat, what game is this? Is this like an actual tank game? But oh, this is insane. What are these? Oh, these are two like two liter bottles? What is going on? This is some seriousness right here. These guys are going next level. You know, and I can't be excited. I can't meet a girl. And she's like, I'm your soulmate. I'm like, you're what's left. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where were you? What took you so long? I'm 39. Like, why are you late? Like, why is my soulmate used? I got to use that soulmate. Oh. <laughs> Just showing up limping with kids. What the f is this? I want a fresh soulmate. I got to use that soulmate. Divorce with kids. That's like going to a restaurant and ordering a steak and the server bringing it over and it's half eaten. Well done. <laughs> They'd be like, yo, what's up with this steak? He'd be like, ah, oh, my bad, man. Somebody else thought they wanted it. Ooh, that's good. And then you showed up half dead, and we're like, ah, oh, we'll just give them this. What's this steak called? They're like, that's our step steak. I was like, all right, delicious. Comes with a couple potatoes. They're autistic. <laughs> Could be worse. Could have been a burnt steak. A couple potatoes. Yes. Would you still love me if I was a tank? Well, it depends on what tank you were. I mean, you could be a leopard to a seven, a tiger. A bulldog, a chieftain, a T-34, okay, a KV-1. The first one. The first one. Okay. Um, so let's say you were a leopard to a seven. Mm -hmm. I would ask you to marry me. Does, does that mean you want to marry me? Are you a leopard to a seven? Not all <laughs> tanks are built. <laughs> are you a leopard? Not my fault I feel like this. The cold weather triggers my seasonal depression. Then put on a f***ing coat. Meet Dr. Victor Blaine, a controversial therapist known for being brutally honest with his clients. If you have a headache, drink some water. If you're hangry, eat some food. Just because I believe in common sense doesn't make me me. And I don't mean to trauma dump on my friends, but I just get these intrusive thoughts. Hey, here's an intrusive thought. You should just shut the f up. Okay, sometimes I'm me. Dr. Blaine describes himself as the Kanye West of therapy. Whatever that means. And I feel like my boyfriend cheated on me because I'm ugly. Whoa, wait. You're not ugly. You're mid. You're beat. Excuse You're me? Mid. Don't act like you didn't hear me with them big ass ears. Like, can you finish up your little yap sesh? I'm trying to go play hell divers. I'm tired of my clients playing victim in all of their problems. Oh, you had a traumatic childhood, so you came to therapy? Well, Bruce Wayne had a traumatic childhood, so he became Batman. <laughs> Maybe the problem is you. Maybe they need to... <laughs> the problem is you. Well, hey, dude, I always say this. The common denominator in all your life's problems is you. So if you want to change something, look in the mirror. Life is a mirror, not a window, bro. Change. You said what? I don't got no change. I don't need no change to me. Change. I don't need no change. I'm trying to get to know me. you. Nah, I ain't got time for I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. All right, that's cool. Then. I'm a nice day then, man. Mm -hmm. I'm about to chase you down. See him hopping in the Lambo. She's a runner, she's a track star. She got places to be. All right, man.
Look at her. Coming back. <laughs> oh, you got money? I'll pay attention to you now. What's up? Where do you think you got to go? You said what? Where you going? Why that even matter? What you mean? What you mean what I mean? Why that matter? I'm trying to go with you. You're trying to go with me? You just told me that you was busy right on the side. Thicker than cold peanut butter. <laughs> Goodness gracious, thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Well, I mean, but like, I got time for you. You got time for me now. I why do. now? I'm trying to go where you going. But why now, though? What you mean? They always come what when you they mean? see that. What you mean? Come on. About me, baby. Um, I have two daughters in college with educations, and I'm educated. So you're not talking I don't to mean me. Nothing just because and I don't care college. about what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, I feel like that if you're going to address nothing just because they sir, in college, sir, I'm just looking more. at what you're coming from. It used to be back in the day when somebody had an education, when they had a car. That means they brought class. These things today will say they have degrees and all this stuff, and they talk just as hood or nasty or ratchet or rough or masculine than anybody else on the street. Know that I will put you in your place. My daughter's with her. I have a doctor. One is a doctor getting her master's. Another one. A doctor getting her master's? <laughs> Don't you have to get your master's before you get a doctorate? Stupid. In criminal justice, becoming a detective. He's a doctor Do getting her master's. I, I'm the other black woman that you need to deal with. Wait, wait. She, said, she said she got a, do a daughter that's a doctor getting her master's. So you can ask oh, oh. me all you want. Your yeah, daddy is a booty ass. Is a, hold that's on a minute. You, you yeah, heard. Good, this is you. a wife. Yo, I can't believe. She yeah, said she got crazy. crazy right? Yeah, she should definitely stay in her. She's a doctor getting her so, master's. One out of ten. I can give myself a good 15. Some Do days. you not understand the and question? Then... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the question is one through 10. I have to break the scale. That's what sometimes I can see myself as a break 15. Break the scale, honey. Like... Maybe the Richter scale. No, I got my days I wake yeah. up. Do you, are you like, do you have issues with numbers? <laughs> Like, it's, it's one through ten. Being a 15 is just not possible. It's so stupid. And she's mid at best. She's not even fine. That's right. Get it. They always do it. We got to do it too. Got him a sugar mama. Make sure she take you on trips. Post half the table when you're at dinner. Don't post the whole table. When you're on vacation, just post yourself. Don't post who took you. No, you, you know what I'm saying? That's what they doing, so we got to do it too. I, oh, yeah. I like that energy. Good for you, brother. I know for a fact that he... Hey, as long as she gets a little bit of pipe, that's I mean, all she cares um, about. Has anyone said you guys look beautiful today? Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, jeez. There's no coming back from me. Prove you wrong that I can do this. Okay. I should be below 578 today. Supposed to be... Supposed to be below 570. She was 670. God. Good news is... That looks like a credit score. You came a long way. Bad news is, shorty, you went the wrong way. Start eating salads, do better. Just because it's called fast food, that duck. God, 670? This woman slept with 919 men in one day. She's a runner, she's a track star. I gotta give her kudos, that is some mileage. In 2004, Lisa Sparks, who's been married since 1995, set a record that has not been beat at the annual World Championships in Poland. She competed against two other women, one of whom was the former world record holder with 759 men in a day. Though not technically even a full day, it occurred in just 12 hours, meaning she was with each man for about 45 seconds. Short-term, one-night stand, sequential relationship types. Okay, who are they? Psychopathic, narcissistic, Machiavellian, and sadistic. All one night stand people? The definition of a psychopath is someone who uses someone for short term gratification. Okay, so it's definitional, right? So, and then you might say, well, I'm not like that, I just like. It's like, yeah, but if you practice that for five years, hmm. you're not going to become what you practice. She definitely needs to get- Yep, you 100% do. Jordan Peterson preaching once again. He also has a quote where he talks about the more promiscuous the, uh, the, blah, blah, blah. the more promiscuous you are and the more you just sleep around, the more you are alone. Because the common denominator of the person that you're with is actually just yourself. It's actually quite sad. Oh, 
while, you circled us a bunch of times thinking you did something. I know you're trying to make it seem like the Bible's only referring to males, but when we look up man, in the ancient Greek that the New Testament was written in, we see that it means anthropos. And anthropos is defined as a human being, human being, whether male or female. Because what the Bible is getting across is that Jesus Christ, God, is the truth. And all men and all women are going to lie. And that includes you, not you. Bro, that's what I'm saying. She th she acts like she above all that. Like, come on, honey, stop the capping, stop the capping, bro. Twenty two. I pop my balloon because I know him. Like in a personal setting or a romantic. Like like he the home. Can you tie him in a knot? <laughs> Can you tie him in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder? Me, you feel me? Like he cool. Do you know her? Is this your home girl? I never seen her in my life. Bro, D Devo, don't play me like that. Uh, please don't do it like that. You. Okay. Anyways, we do we we know the truth. Hey, okay, what is it? What did I do with the balloon? Like because I. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are All you right. attracted to her? Is this somebody you were approaching public? Nah. No. And why not? Uh, her head too little. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <Shots fired. laughs> That's a good. Her head's too little. <laughs> Oh, can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Smokey? Smokey, I understand why you have all kinds of self-esteem issues, because that one looks like she's fresh from the trailer park, and that one right there is the sea witch from The Little Mermaid. So I can see why you got sea witch. Oh, what happened? Oh, bro. Hold on, bro. That was good. The funny thing about this clip is that she isn't even wrong. She's cooking. Literally at this point, walking around with a pregnant belly with no rock on my finger is pathetic. Is just giving ghetto. And I just don't belong. Okay? Take me out, take me away. Wait a minute, you're telling me that you will be a single mom. The stories write themselves. Um, it's giving I was good enough for a baby but i wasn't good enough for a fat rock on my finger and i just don't love it here so don't invite me to the party you can't blame anyone but yourself bro who's gonna ra who is gonna raise these kids <laughs> who's going to teach these kids <laughs> oh ladies oh look the consequences of your own actions it's why it's so hard to feel bad for these women because it's like that's the reason the phrase marry before you carry is even a phrase you're supposed to marry a man before you carry his baby. You don't want to be a baby mama. And you know what the recipe is for that. You have unprotected coitus, and then you get knocked up. And most of the time you get knocked up with guys that wouldn't even marry you in the first place because you're looking at the potential of a man. This is so crazy to me. But it's hard for us as men to feel bad. It's so hard to feel bad. I don't feel bad. Um, it's like, well, I mean, you made your decision... You made your bed, now you gotta lay in it. Have you guys ever heard that phrase? Like, goodness gracious. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.